So this new battle pass or operation or mini operation or whatever we're calling it for CS2 is now officially out. Uh, we're going to take a look at some of the items, some of the, the different ways you can redeem the points, uh, how long it takes you to get a lot of these points and all this different stuff. And obviously the question is going to be, how do I make a profit off this thing? How do I spend my points best? How do I make money? Uh, and in this video today, I'm going to be giving my very, very early, my way too early opinions uh, on the items that I'm taking a look at and where I would consider redeeming my points and the things that I'll maybe be looking to invest in or purchase uh, once these things are actually, you know, tradable and up for sale and all of that good stuff. Uh, I am Jerm, a CS2 collector, investor, and cash trader. Uh, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how I think uh, or how I, I would go about potentially trying to make a profit from this new, uh, whatever we're calling this in CS2. But of course, first, just let me plug, plug my cash trading business. If you're looking to sell any of your CS2 items, turn them into cold hard cash or crypto or any other payment method, definitely hit me up over on Twitter. It's going to be the first link in the description below or buying pretty much anything and everything for the right price. And of course, by selling them, you're helping support me, my channel, and my content, which I would appreciate a ton. With that being said, let's get right into this today. So Brongo tweeted this out and he said the cost per reward in USD, if you don't count the cost of your time to earn the stars, obviously. Uh, and all he did here was, uh, you know, take the price of the pass, which is $15 or whatever it is, uh, and then kind of divide that by the number of stars, obviously. So, um, you know, the cheaper stuff is going to cost less money. The more expensive stuff is going to cost more money. And, uh, yeah, so obviously, uh, to me, some of the things that stand out right here, right away is that to me, the case seems relatively cheap and easy to get. And obviously a case is a very, very good thing. Uh, cases are like the S plus tier investment, uh, of CS. And this case is actually very, very interesting. And part of how good or bad any of these items are going to be as investments is obviously going to be how long the armory and also these items specifically are going to stay available for purchase. Now, hey, if these things were just in the store indefinitely, obviously that would make them a very bad investment because that means there would be an infinite quantity in supply. But we don't know how long this stuff is going to last, but we can take a look here and see on this limited edition item, the uh, the heat treated deagle or whatever it's called. Uh, it says 103 days remaining, which makes me think that the other items are going to be in the store for longer than 103 days. Now, does that mean they're going to be in the store for 150 days, 200 days, 300 days, 600 days? I don't really know, um, but we did get this from uh, Gabe Fowler in his video. He says, it seems like instead of operations, we're going to be getting regular battle passes now, which could mean that either the items in the armory are going to be rotated out or that we have the armory right now and then in whatever time period uh, we're going to get some totally new battle pass that's going to be called something entirely different. I'm not sure, um, but it definitely does seem like these items won't be infinitely uh, available and, and in infinite quantities, but it is going to be interesting to see how long they last. And that's why I'm saying right now it is way too early to actually tell which items are going to be the best investments or which items are going to be the most profitable, but I am going to be keeping my eyes on all of this stuff. And obviously, uh, definitely the case stands out in a big, big way to me right off the bat. Because again, m most cases uh, are great investments especially over time, especially cases that end up being discontinued like this gallery case. If and when it gets removed from this armory, if this is the only way to get this case and it's not in the active duty pool or the, the rare drop pool or whatever, it's going to be a discontinued case. And look at the discontinued cases out there right now. They all have uh, had massive gains. They all have very expensive price points. They're all worth way more than 80 cents or whatever right here. Uh, and this case is it's going to be, it's weird because, you know, most cases can be uh, like that are in the pools can just be farmed uh, by bots or whatever. And these can kind of be farmed by bots. Obviously bots can farm up uh, the points or whatever, but then they still have to be redeemed. Um, so it's possible that this case is going to be in not uh, like as insane of quantities um, that we've seen some of the other stuff. And also another big thing here, it like Jesus points out is that he is stunned that Valve are not letting them, letting everyone buy stars. They're leaving tens of millions of dollars on the table. They create a literal money, money printer but decided to only run it at 30 percent so that's another big thing here the fact that people can't buy stars means people can't just go spend ten thousand dollars and buy a ton of these items you know if somebody did want to invest in thousands of gallery cases well guess what they're either gonna have to buy those gallery cases on the steam market uh which isn't creating any new gallery cases or they're going to have to play the game a ton to try and farm up these gallery cases so for more of these gallery cases to be created obviously people have to play the game a ton and then they also have to actually choose the gallery case which i think right off the bat isn't going to happen that much i think there are people who are going to want the gallery case obviously but um people are going to be money's going to be split between a lot of the other collections, money's going to be split between all these items because in some ways, all these items are kind of interesting or kind of cool. Obviously, the stickers are just super, super, super cheap. Um, the three new collections have a ton of just new skins and exciting stuff in it. Um, the gun buddies 
or keychains or charms or whatever we're calling them uh, are just a brand new item class that people are excited about. And then that limited edition deagle, it's really standing out to people because you can get, uh, you know, a blue gem deagle or something like that. Um, so to me, the case is the first place my mind goes and I would be redeeming a ton of these cases. I think in the short term, they could have some of the most uh, highest profitability and, and some of the um, you know highest value, especially uh, in, in return for just two stars. Again, a, a battle pass can get you up to 40 stars, I believe. So you could redeem each of those uh, you, you know, just over and over again for like 20, you could get 20 cases off each of your uh, battle passes. And I think that would overall be pretty good in the short term and in the mega long term. I think if you just set it and forget it, hold those for like years that you're probably going to make a nice little profit. And overall, I am a kind of set it and forget it and type in investor. Um, the next second uh, thing that actually stands out to me here is going to be that limited edition deagle. Because again, that is a item that if and when it gets removed from the store in 103 days or whatever, if that is the only way to get this thing, if you can't trade up for it, if you can't open it from cases or whatever, it is going to be a finite supply. Even if there's going to be a ton of them on the market, it seems like everyone is redeeming these right now. Uh, Still, it is, it's a lot of points. What is it, 25 points? You can only get one of these per battle pass. You can, it's not even possible to get multiple, multiple of these from a single battle pass. So again, people are going to have to buy a ton of battle passes to get one of those over and over and over again. They're going to have to play the game a lot. They can't just drop a bunch of money and create a bunch of them. Uh, and any item with a finite supply, especially a item that I think is pretty cool and is going to have some genuine demand over time, and especially if you get a rare pattern, you know, you get something like one of these blue gems. Uh, I really think that's going to have some crazy, crazy, crazy value uh, sometime from now. Again, it depends how long it's going to take to see profit on any of these items is going to depend how over invested uh, this whole thing is. Uh, and, you know, just how, how many uh, of these things are created and what the overall supply and quantity is. But Remember, a, a really bad thing for Paris was that we had a ton of hype, a ton of players, and it was so easy to buy tens of thousands of Paris capsules. But for this, uh, we do have a lot of hype and we do have a lot of players and the player base is definitely going to be increasing. Um, but it's actually pretty difficult to pump a ton of money into this or to create a ton of supply in this. So um, this armory stuff is actually going to be pretty interesting. And uh, yeah, the Paris, uh, you know, sale went on a long time and allowed people to create a bunch of like this. And that's one uh, concern for all of this. But even if this does go on for a long time, it's still much, much, much harder to create a ton of these items. And the demand is split up between all nine of these things where something like Paris, you know, it's split up between three castles. So it's not really even split up at all. So my number one choice for this, uh, if I was going to be redeeming my points right now, again, we'll, we'll know more in the next couple of weeks and months what the best thing to redeem your points on is once we actually start seeing the prices of things you know you'll literally be able to come up with an ROI and all that stuff um, but right off the bat the thing that stands out to me most is definitely the gallery case again I love cases I'm a majority of case investor and the idea of a discontinued case that's pretty easy to get with these points that sounds awesome to me um, but then also that limited edition item really really stands out to me in a big way then after that I don't know I think you can go a lot of ways those are definitely my two top choices after that, it gets tough. I could see um, the, the value of charms since they are the, the first ever charms we've ever seen in the game, uh, but they seem a little bit expensive uh, at, at, what is that, six? Uh, no, it's three uh, stars. I don't know. that I, I, I thought they were going to be a little bit cheaper than that, especially when you can get a gun from one of these collections for only four stars. Uh, stickers only being one star, those seem interesting, and all these different collections obviously seem interesting as well, but I do think if I wanted to invest in a collection items, I would uh, just buy a bunch of the trade-up skins after the fact, I don't think I would re be redeeming uh, my my points to get like a random skin from one of these collections. So I don't think that's where I would go. Uh, if I was going to pick something else, I'd probably either go for the stickers or the charms uh, and probably just the charms at this point, since they are kind of a one of a kind item and the first ever ones we've seen from this uh, could end up being some kind of like patch phenomenon or something like that in the long term. But to me, the real two big winners from this and the two most unique and interesting items from this thing are the gallery case and that limited edition deagle. And I can't wait to see if they replace that deagle with another limited edition item after this and I can't wait to see how long um, this battle pass does last and uh, where the prices kind of move throughout this whole thing. It's going to be so, so interesting. But the fact, again, the fact that you cannot just buy stars uh, really helps with the fact that uh, Paris was just just over invested sloppy mess and this thing can't really be that it can still we can still get some crazy high quantities and stuff like that but it's going to take time and it's also going to take people playing the game which is also good for the game and good for the markets and good for the economy and the more people play the more items they open the more money they put into the game and the more addicted to the game they get and all that good stuff uh, for people in the markets. So uh, it's actually going to be pretty interesting to wait and see how this goes. And I actually love that for once, uh, it seems like Valve actually made a long-term decision. Because again, in the short term, they could have made people be able to buy stars. They could have printed a ton of money, um, but it would be terrible for all this stuff in the long term. Uh, but 
they actually made a great long-term decision to get people to play their game, uh, which is also just happens to be great for the markets and great for the economy of all these items as well. So uh, yeah, right off the bat, the main thing I'm going to be looking at are the gallery case and that limited edition Deagle. Uh, and those would be the things that I'd probably be re redeeming my points on uh, right now. Uh, and I think in the long run, it's going to be very, very difficult to not make money on both of those items. Again, I don't know how long it's going to take, um, but I would say those are pretty close to guarantee uh, to be profitable at some point in the future where, uh, you know, other, some of the other items are probably going to be profitable at some point, uh, but they might take a little bit longer. They might be a little bit riskier on that end. But that is pretty much this video today, guys. Definitely let me know what your guys' thoughts and opinions are as well. Hopefully catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.